In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to operate offline computer version of Supreme Today legal software. Before starting, I'll brief about Supreme Today. Supreme Today legal software is a multi-platform legal database resource and search engine from one of the most reputed law book publisher in India, Vinod Publications Delhi. This software is developed by Vigas Info Solutions. It will work in all platforms of desktop, mobile, Android, iOS, both online and offline. Launch Supreme Today legal software by double clicking the software icon from your desktop screen. After launching the software, you can see sets of icon on the top of the screen as well as in the bottom. In the top of the screen, you can see EAY's bare act, commentary, word phrases, overruled, global search, and advanced search. EAY's We use this tool to search judgment of any particular court in a particular year and month. Using bare act, you can read any central or state statutes. We have provided an option to search judgment of related acts from the Barak search engine itself. Next tool is commentary. This option is used to read comments by legal experts on selected major and minor acts. Commentary option is a highlight of our software and is an added value to the users of our software. We have covered all the commentary books published by Vinod Publication and the book worth of commentary alone would come around 4 to 5 lakhs. Word phrases is used to search for legal definition of any particular word. This tool contains the entire book by Justice M. L. Singhal under this topic. Overruled. Using this option, we can check which judgment is overruled by which judgment. This will be very useful for the research and study purposes. Moving to next tool, global search. It is used to search judgment using keywords, phrases in various methods. Advanced search is used to search judgment in a combination of various methods. With these tools, we can search judgment by using keywords, phrases, and nearby keywords, act and sections. Our appellant or respondent name, judge name, case number, journal wise, or judgments within a particular period. And you can combine all the information in the above given boxes. Now let's look into each and every tool and how to operate those tools. First, ear wise. In year wise, you can see two boxes. First one is code, the second one is year. So, if you want to see judgments of a particular code in a particular year and month, you can select the code from the first box. For example, I am selecting Supreme Court here. And which year you want to see? Suppose 2021. If you select 2021, all the judgments of Supreme Court will come if you select the option all. Or you can select the month which you want to see. For example, now we have selected all. After selecting all, we can see so many sorting options here like most cited, list as relevant, party name A to Z, party name Z to A, bench wise, overruled. For example, now we are going to sort by latest. So which judgment is latest in the software as on today will come in the top. Moving to next tool, bare acts. In bare acts, you can see on box find text. There, you can type the exact title of the act, for example, Indian Penal Code 1860. When we are typing, we can see the list popping up from below and we can select the appropriate one. After selecting the act, in the right side, you can see there are three options full act view, index view, and select section. If you select full act view, you can read the bare act from the section 1 just like a book scrolling down. Next one is index view. Show you the indexes and you can select from the indexes after scrolling down and you can read that section. 
otherwise if you want to read a particular section you can mention the section number in the given box and you can directly go to the particular section for example section 149 here we got the section on 49 next to that there is view related option if you click there it will automatically open the advanced search and fill the appropriate boxes and will get you the judgments how to filter the records how to open the judgment what are the features of the judgment we will check into those topics at the end now we will complete and search tools we are coming back to the bear act option and after the view related judgment option you can see there's a zoom plus and zoom minus option that you can use according to your comfortable level and after that you can see an email and print option if you want to send an email of any particular section or the entire act you can use this tool otherwise if you want to take print out of a particular section print out of the entire act that also can be done using the print facility provided here okay. next tool is commentary if we have used bear act to read the statute alone but in commentary we can read the comments by legal expert on selected act and minor acts you can see for all the major act we have provided two types of commentary ipc normal commentary is there and exhaustive commentary is there likewise for crpc cpc also available for example now we are going to ipc exhaustive commentary and we are going to read section 149 earlier in the previous tool we have seen only a few sentences in bear act but here you can see it's a huge book which describing discussing about the comments on section 149 by legal experts while scrolling down you can see so many letters in blue color those are citations discussing in this commentary book if you click on any of the blue color it will direct you to the particular judgment citation for example i'm clicking this 2010 5 supreme 241 so it will immediately open that particular judgment and we can read the judgment from here itself after reading you can close and it will be back to the commentary section itself moving to next tool word phrases as we said in the introduction word phrase is an option to read the definition of any particular legal word for example we are typing fraud what is the legal definition of the word fraud we will get this much bigger definition for fraud and the discussing judgments also listed in the meaning if you want to see the judgment related with the word fraud you can see an option search judgment at the top if you click there it will automatically open the global search and you will get the judgment related with the word fraud here also we have got 54,485 records as i said earlier we will discuss how to filter these letter words now we are going to the option overrule overrule is a tabular analysis of the judgments which are overruled which judgment is overruled by which judgment is listed here those judgments are in red color are overruled by those who are in the black color and you can search by typing the name at the top if the judgment is overruled or not for example ak gobal versus state of madras judgment is overruled by sambunad sarkar versus state of west bengal if you want to read the judgment just click there it will open the judgment for additional information even if you are getting an overall judgment from the search result if you are searching for a topic and you are coming across an overall judgment this will be mentioned at the top of the judgment we will come to that later now we are moving to the next tool global search in global search you can search judgment in four methods there are four boxes in global search all these words or phrases word within any of these words none of these words first box all these words means whatever the word you type there if it is there in any judgment it will come in the result you can type any number of words separated by space for example mortgage deeds title deposit now we will get all the judgment in which these four words are there anywhere in the judgment this is the method how we use word search see these results are made by 
automatic proximity method not in alphabetical order not in date wise order but how approximately the words are being used and how many times use it so even those who are with the least knowledge of the software can get the most accurate data at the first row and afterwards you can filter by most cited or relevant or latest which is your choice moving back to the tool again global search there are other boxes word within any of these words none of these words in now we have searched the free text so this 2891 judgment containing all these four words but scattered all over the judgment if you want this word for example within a consecutive 10 words you can give the number 10 and search now the result reduce it to 1200 so all these 1200 judgments will be containing these four words within a consecutive 10 words next tool is any of these words any of these words tool is used when we are not sure about the terms if it is a synonym there will be two or three methods or if it is a singular or plural we are not sure about for example in this search at the first box we have written deeds but in some judgment there may be used with the word deed singular so we are moving the word deeds from the top box to the down so we will write deed and also we will write deed so any one of that is there in any judgment we will get both the records see now we have got more than 4000 judgment earlier it was only 1200 so i hope you have understand the difference between any of these words and all of these words and none of these words means which word you don't want in the search result which word you want to eliminate from your result you can type it there so whatever the word you type there if it is there in any judgment that record will not come now search we have eliminated the word immovable from the search result after that the search record is reduced to 2000 which means more than 2000 judgments was containing the word immovable moving to next tool advanced search in advanced search and global search first box are same so in this box you can use boolean search method also which means a normal method is a keyword search you can search by typing the word separated by space and you can search phrase using quotation at the beginning and at the end for example if you want the exact phrase in the judgment and after that you can start an immediate next quotation and start typing next to phrase burden of proof now we got 311 judgment containing these two phrases at the same time which you can sort by according to your choice latest relevant most cited and the, after opening the judgment you can see the typed word will be highlighted in the judgment remember there is no need to put space between two phrases when you are putting quotation you can start the next quotation immediately after closing the first quotation and if you want to search this judgment in a combination of an act example indian penal code you can select from the popping up and if you have any section give the section number otherwise click on add now that is added to the search bar and search again now there is only 269 judgment which means ipc dying declaration and burden of proof now we have reduced the judgment to a number of 269 from 311 if you want to add crpc also to that type and select then click on add now both the acts added to the search panel then click on search again the number will be reduced to a format in which ipc crpc are discussing together with the two words dying declaration burden of proof now the record reduce it to 162 if you want to add evidence act also to the search box you can type evidence act and select from the pop up and click on add it will be added to the search panel and you can click on search 
And if you want to search in a multiple condition, for example, dying declaration as a phrase and burden of proof, in some judgment we can see that the judge may have used separate terms. Burden of a proof can be there, burden of the proof can be there. Likewise, we are not sure the correct alignment of the phrase. So you can search it in a nearby method. After closing the quotation, you can type the infinity button. This symbol I have marked below the screen. So you can put shift and this symbol together and type the number in between how many consecutive numbers you want these two words and search. Now the search result will be much more higher than the earlier one. In advanced search, you can see number of boxes are there. You don't have to fill each and every column. Whatever the data you have, you can use that to search your judgment. If you have only act and section, you can search judgment using act alone. For example, IPC section 498A add. IPC 498A added to the search bar. After that, we want CRPC also together with this section. You can type CRPC and section 482. Click on add. That also added to the search bar. And if you want evidence act also together, you can type evidence act. And you can click that all and you can click on add then search. So you will get a judgment in a combination of IPC 498A, CRPC 482 and evidence act discussing in the same judgment. If you don't want a particular active section, you can remove by clicking on this into mark and search again after limiting into the selected one. Now you will get much more higher result. If you, you can click on reset to erase all the search comments you have provided and you will get a fresh box again. If you have appellant or respondent name, you can search by party's name. If you have a judge's name, you can search by judge name. If you have case number and case year, you can search like that. And if you have a citation, that also can be done. Using a publisher, you can type any journal, for example, a CC or MLJ. Select the year, which year you want to see. MLJ, since pre council period onwards, we have provided in this software. So which year you want, you can select the year and select the volume, select the page number. You will get the judgment. If you don't know the volume number and page number, you can search only for a particular year also. And if you don't know the page number and volume number, you can search only for the year also. If you know the page number and e volume number, you can select and search. In advanced search or global search, after getting the result, we can filter to the narrow point which we want to read the judgment. Because when we are searching for a topic, we are getting number of judgments. It is really hard to trace out the judgment which we are looking for from a huge number of the records. So we have provided so many filtering options even after getting the search window. Now we have got 38,243 records. In the left side of screen, you can filter by court title. If you want judgment from only a particular court, for example, Supreme Court or Kerala High Court, you can select that. For example, if you want multiple court, you can select both. Now I have selected Supreme Court, Kerala High Court together. And if I'm clicking filter, the record will be filtered only to the selected two courts. Now it is 4,000. Earlier it was 38,000, which means 34,000 judgments are filtered already. If you want to see judgment of these two courts within a particular year or within selected years, you can tick mark multiple year and filter again. Now we have got only 382 cases. If you want to filter by act, judge, bench, anything can be done and the record will be filtered accordingly to the lesser numbers. And after opening any judgment, for example this 2018 judgment, Mohanlal versus State of Punjab, after opening the judgment you can see the license at the top of the screen and after that you can see our citation and corresponding citation very next to that. After reading those portions you can see the head note by point A, point B, point C like that. And after reading head note you can see what are the facts of the cases, what, what is the finding of the code and we have provided an option of important points also. 
while reading this judgment at the top you can see so many options like zoom plus zoom minus bookmark convert to pdf send email and direct printing if you want to read the judgment letter you can click on bookmark and add it to a bookmark so letter words you don't have to search again and you can immediately go to any judgment from the bookmark itself for example now i'm creating a category burden of proof and click on add here then go to select category and select the category we have added and give a short description which will help you to remember for which purpose you have added the bookmarks now we have updated the bookmark successfully if you want to trace out the bookmark later words at the bottom you can see an option bookmarks if you click there all the bookmarks you created will be there after creating a number of bookmarks it will be hard to find out the bookmarks which you are looking for so here is an option if you click there you can sort by category so the judgment of that particular category only will be listed and as soon when you click on the party's name the judgment will be open when you are searching for a topic after getting the result window you can sort it according to your preference for example now we are selecting most cited here so the judgment which is most cited will come at the top after sorting this out you can see which judgments are cited in how many cases for example this 2004 judgment subsequently cited in 803 judgment after opening the judgment you can see so many options top of the judgment for example judicial analysis in this judicial analysis we get the information about to how many cases it is referred and in how many cases it is affirmed in how many cases it is distinguished descended relied and if it is overruled that also will be written here itself if you want to read any distinguishing judgment afterwards you can select the tab distinguished so all the judgment in which that is distinguished will be listed out here if you click the party's name it will open that distinguishing judgment the software works without internet it search judgment without internet you can read the judgment without internet but if you have a working internet connection you can update it on each and every day by using these live update features i hope that we have covered almost all the tool in this search engine and some more additional little features are there for detailed information you can communicate with us in the given number